First thing we'll do for the upkeep of this more so stove is to clean the window off. It's gotten a little dirty with the last use. And I'll just spray some Windex on there. And take a paper towel and it should come right off. Now the next step is to you know, wipe down this little mantle here. And the next step will be to get the ash out of here, the main burn chamber, and we will uh, throw this bucket down below. And I like to just use my hands. Some people like to use like a little broom or something, but I just like to get my hands in it. And you just kind of move all the ash down into that beautiful little tray down below. And the tray will gather all those ashes and you do not want to do this when you've just had a fire. Obviously, you want the fire to be totally out. No danger whatsoever. Coals left, but the most of that ash, you can see this ash right here. And you don't want to spill that in the house. You want to put that right in the trash can. See, now that's empty. And it'll slide right back in. And it, it, these little fins pointing inward, so it'll push any coals that go. So I use these uh, Safe Light Fire Starter Squares. They're either in the bin over to the left or they're in the coat closet back behind me. Um, and the way these come is in big sheets, but they're perforated so you can break them. So I've got one right here. And really there's not much to this. This is just sort of a substitute for um, paper towel. So I'll just go ahead and light this. You can use any sort of lighter that you have or matches, but it does take a little bit to get it going. And then you can just pick that up. You can see it's really like pressed um, sawdust and wax. It's a great, great little product. And then you put that in there and then start an interesting one. It only takes 10 inch logs. So they're cut a little special for this. And then at this point, I'm gonna just close it with the latch, not closed like this, but just with this down and pushed in fish now. And you don't wanna close this when it's getting lit. There's also a air constrainer right here, a little valve, and that will be open wide when you get started. You start to see that secondary burn on the top. What happens with this stove is it takes the initial smoke and it circulates it back down and around the bottom and out two rows of jets in the back and those jets make a double burn. Still keeping the door open. You really want the wood to be caught and burning pretty vigorously before you close this door down. Give it a try and see what happens. <laughs> 